The purpose of this demonstration is to show how the T distribution will be approximating the normal distribution as the degrees of freedom increase. Now the red curve represents the standard normal distribution and this black curve represents the T distribution. Now I have the degrees of freedom set to be 1 right now and as we can see the peak of the T distribution is much lower than the normal distribution peak but the tail ends are also much higher and this incorporates the variability that results from using the sample standard deviation uh, rather than the population standard deviation. Now if I increase the number of degrees of freedom to 10, we can see that the T distribution is getting closer to the shape of the normal distribution. There's still some space uh, between the tail ends and the curve and the peaks here, but there's much less of it. And this is why when we take the degrees of freedom to be 15, we can start saying, well, the shape of the T distribution is getting very close to a normal distribution. So between 15 and 30, the shape of the T distribution still doesn't quite hit the mark for the normal, but it is very close. And when you get beyond 40, we can see that there is very little difference between the T distribution and the normal distribution. And this is the idea of how degrees of freedom, uh, as they increase, the T distribution will start to approximate the normal distribution.